वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम 3.36 पॉइंट थ्री सिक्स सो द लास्टिक पोर्शन ऑफ द टेंशन स्ट्रेस ट्रेन डाइग्राम फॉर एल्यूमिनियम एलॉय इज शोन इन द फिगर द स्पेसिफिन यूज फॉर टेंसाइल टेस्ट हैज अ गेज लेंथ ऑफ टू इंच एंड द डायमीटर इज जीरो पॉइंट फाइव इंच इफ अप्लाइड लोड इज टेन किब्स डिटरमाइन द न्यू डायमीटर ऑफ द स्पेसिमेन द शेयर मॉडुलस इज 3.8 पॉइंट एट इंटू टेन एस पावर थ्री की एस आई सो यू कैन सी दिस इज द स्ट्रेस ट्रेन डाइग्राम दिस पोर्शन इज इलास्टिक पोर्शन क्लियर वेयर द स्ट्रेस इज सेवेंटी एंड द स्ट्रेन इज गिवन एज जीरो पॉइंट डबल जीरो सिक्स वन फोर एंड दिस इज द स्पेसिमन हैविंग गेज लेंथ ऑफ टू इंच एंड द लोड दैट इज अप्लाइड ओवर हेयर इज टेन किप्स क्लियर सो वट वी हैव टू वी हैव टू फाइंड द original uh, final diameter so let we have this diameter rod clear and the load p is applied and this load the original diameter is d not after applying this load the diameter will reduce and length will increase so diameter will reduce but length will increase due to this tensile load p and this diameter now is now become final diameter so we will find this final diameter all the datas are mentioned this is elastic portion of stress strain curve the gauge length is 2 inch the original diameter is 0.5 inch applied load is 10 kips and shear modulus is this one so you have to final diameter which is df so let's start with the solution so basically what we have to find we have to find the final diameter so again first of all we will find uh, the modulus of elasticity of aluminium for that we will use this elastic portion so you can see from this elastic portion stress is this at this point the stress is this one and at this point we have strain is this so from here you will get the uh, uh, modulus of elasticity of aluminium which will be equal to stress over strain and this strain is longitudinal strain so stress is uh, not longitudinal this stress is this is a strain we have this aluminium is equal to stress over strain clear so stress is 70 at this stress we have strain of 0.00614 so from here you will get this strain this modulus of elasticity is 11400.65 and that will be ksi now we have this modulus of elasticity also we have a load that is p is given as 10 kips clear that is mentioned in the question you can see this is 10 kips so we can find the stress stress is equal to load per unit area so load is 10 kips and area since this is diameter of rod is 0.5 inch clear so its area will be pi by 4 pi by 4 into 0.5 whole square so from here you will get this stress will be equal to 50.92 96 ks i okay we will move toward finding the longitudinal strain longitudinal strain is equal to due to this load p there will be a longitudinal strain and that longitudinal strain is equal to stress divided by modulus of elasticity of aluminum clear so you can put the value 50.92 9296 divided by modulus of elasticity is 11400.65 and from here you will get this longitudinal strain which is 0.004473 inch per inch or dimensionless now we have longitudinal stress uh, strain and we have uh, uh, g value that is given over here so from that you will get the nu because we know that g is equal to e over 2 into 1 plus nu this is the relationship between the shear modulus and elastic modulus 
so again you can put the value g is 3.8 into 10 to the power 3 ksi e is uh, 11400.65 divided by 2 into 1 plus nu so again if you further simplify it so you will get uh, 2 into 1 plus nu is equal to 11400.65 divided by 3.8 into 10 is to power 3 okay let's move further so 1 plus nu will be equal to 11400.65 divided by 3.8 into 10 is to power 3 multiply by 2 and nu will be equal to 11400.65 divided by 2 into 38 into 10 is to power 3 minus 1 so you will get nu which is Poisson ratio and that will be 0 0.500 once you have this nu you can find we know that nu is equal to minus strain in lateral direction divided by strain in longitudinal direction okay so we have longitudinal strain we do not have lateral strain so for that lateral strain is equal to lateral strain will be equal to minus nu times strain in longitudinal we are using the same equation so let this lateral strain so we have nu which is minus zero which is 0 0.500 and longitudinal strain is this one so you can put the value 0 0.004467.3 it will give you lateral strain so lateral strain comes out to be minus 0 0.002234 inch per inch now you have this lateral strain and we know that lateral strain for uh, a, uh, for a for a short having diameter d when it is subjected to a load of p this is original diameter so this is the load p so after applying p load its diameter will reduce to d naught df while length will increase we are interested in found la lateral strain so we know that lateral strain is equal to change in diameter divided by original diameter so change in we have lateral strain we have original diameter so from here you will get the change in diameter is equal to lateral strain into original diameter so lateral strain is minus 0 0.002234 and original diameter was 0 0.5 so when you solve this you will get delta d is equal to minus 0 0.001117 inch now you have this diameter we know that uh, change in diameter is equal to uh, final diameter minus original diameter okay so this final diameter will be equal to change in diameter plus original diameter so change in diameter is minus 0 0.001117 plus original diameter is 0 0.5 so when you solve this you will get final diameter will be equal to 0 0.4989 inch so this is the answer of our question number 3.36 i hope you have enjoyed this video and again if you have any question you can ask me in comment section also those who are new to my channel then you are requested to subscribe my channel and also share it in your community thank you for watching